but um, I'll go over go over equipment first. Um, you know what what I'm actually using. Um, all right. Now I use a um, every every snare I set is on an extension cable, and um, these are usually 10 foot is what I generally make them. Um, the cable that I use, some some people might not be familiar with it. It's um, it's 3:30 seconds, but it's it's seven by 19. Most people are more familiar with seven by seven and one by 19. The seven by 19 is a lot more flexible cable. Um, it won't kink up as bad. Um, it gets wrapped up. Um, you get a lot more uses out of it. And uh, when they do get to the point where I can't use them no more, I'll just cut them up and make earth anchors out of them. Um, I use the cheap Burke showers is, is the only ones I use. They're just a disposable for me. I don't never pull them out. I don't, I don't use that many because most of the time with the extension cable, I can reach something to tie off to in most instances. Um, make these up, I, there's a number nine swivel on the end. That, that's extremely important. Um, and then when you put your stop on, if, if you're making these yourself, put it a double washer under here instead of one put two because I've had big coyotes pull these hard enough to dish that washer out down almost pull it down inside of that swivel and you'll start to lose a swivel action so use use two washers there it will will help these last longer and my actual snare is it's a two-piece snare that I hook onto this um, this end, and of course, this one's been used before. I use these over and over too. This is 564 7 by 7. And then it's hooked to a number six fishing swivel right here. It gives you plenty of swivel action. And then I, I make these up. My loop end is 1 16th, 1 by 19. And a lot of people may think that's too small for coyotes. Um, I'm trying to dispatch my coyotes and cats and fox. This will dispatch a whole lot better than, than bigger cable. Um, if, if you don't want to go through the aggravation of, of making these up with these extra swivels, um, if you just want one piece snare to here that hooks on to your extension cable, I would suggest moving up to 564 1 by 19. You will lose coyotes if you don't have a swivel here. I mean, you're going to lose coyotes no matter what kind of cable you use, but you will lose a, a high, much higher percentage um, without this swivel if you try to use the smaller cable. Um, but my loop in, like I said, it's 1 16th, 1 by 19. This actually has a dispatch spring on it. I trap in a lot of different uh, states and uh, states out west where I go, I'm allowed to use these. Um, here in Virginia, if you're setting above 12 inches and that's to the top of the snare, not the bottom, these aren't legal. Uh, in a fence, the way I understand it, if you're down in a fence, they are legal, but not in a trail set where you would be setting out on the level. Um, now, you need a support collar or some way to support the snare. Um, I don't know if many of you are familiar with them. They've got a, they're called a whammy. It's a little uh, kind of a pigtail-looking thing that goes around the cable that you slide onto wire. They work fine. I, I don't particularly like them because... They're two wire size specific. Uh, I switch between 11 gauge and 9 gauge wire to support my snare, and I'll show you that. Um, this is um, nothing but 5 30 seconds windshield wiper tubing. You get it at any auto supply place. It's very flexible, um, even in real cold weather. So you get it on, you know, you don't have any problems there. And it'll work with any size cable or any size wire from 9 to 11 that you want to use. You, you, you know, mismatch between cable sizes, you don't have a problem there. Um, but uh, let's go, I'll, I'll, we'll go over the supports we use. Um, oh, that's great, we left the supports in the truck. <laughs> I still got the 11 gauge, but uh, with me. Most, most of the time, the support wires I use is, uh, it's nine gauge, it's galvanized, and uh, I had some in the truck and just grabbed everything else, forgot to get them out of the truck. It's 9-gauge um, seal and tie wire. It comes in 12-foot links. 
It's real straight. It's real stiff. Um, uh, you can get it at any like a you know drywall supply place, but it's for putting in drop ceilings in commercial buildings. But I cut that into 40 foot lengths. I mean 40 inch lengths to use as my um, support for my snares. And um, I have a piece of PVC pipe that bolts to the back of the foil with a screw on cap. You can fit 75 or 80 inside of there. Um, you, you know, no mess, nothing to deal with. You get to a, where you're going to use them, unscrew it, take it what out you need, and put the cap back on. Um, I do not bring them out after I use them. They get bent up. Um, if I'm at a bait station, I'll pull them all out when I pull snares, and I'll hang them over a limb somewhere in a central location. And most of the time, they're there the next year, and I reuse them. If I'm in a trail situation, as long as there's not cattle that are going to be in there, I'll just mash them over and lay them flat to the ground and leave them. Because if you get them back in the truck, they get tangled in with extension cables, and it's a big rat's nest. And for me, everything's about efficiency and, um, you know, do things as quick and fast as possible. And, uh, you know, you'll, everything will work out a lot better for you. But generally, you know, I use the 11 gauge if I'm in a fence situation or if, if I'm trail snaring at bait stations or wherever I'm trail snaring, I'll use the 11 gauge if there's something convenient to hook it to. If there's something, you know, that size with one of those trees that I can wrap it around and tie it tight and hang it out in the trail, and I'll show that. Um, but generally, most of the time, I'm using the galvanized number nine, and I just make these myself, it's a driver. I bend the hook on the bottom, you just drive it in. Now, this is a little shorter than what my other supports are and what I would be using. And then you just bend that out in the trail where you need it and hang the snare. Um, but like I said, I cut those 40 inches and, and that works out about perfect. Um, that would be about the size of my loop. What's good is by putting these swivels in here the way I measure out, I don't worry about having to have any kind of a stop so the loop doesn't open too big. We're restricted to a 12-inch loop. So with this swivel here and this two-piece snare, time I get this all the way open, I'm at 12 inches, and I don't have to worry about putting, adding something else to keep it from opening too big. The other thing you won't see on here is I don't have a, a deer stop. Um, I do use a crimp on deer stop when I'm here. Uh, you have to use them here. Um, keep the loop from closing uh, smaller than like two and a quarter inches. I don't, I don't think they're necessary when you're using a release system, but th they are required here. Um, I don't have to use them out west. Um, I use, on this end, this is a release barrel. Um, I have a tool that's calibrated and it puts just the right amount of pressure on it. So a deer gets a foot in here or a leg, you know, he runs out to the end. That's another important reason to use these long extension cables. He runs out to the end, he pops that off, the loop opens up, and he goes away. Um, I can't stress enough about using some type of a release system. Um, you will definitely get into an issue um, if you don't use a release system. Um, you're going to catch deer. There's lots of deer, and you want them to get caught, pop the loop, and run away. Um, they make an S hook, J hooks. Um, they work fine. I just like the, the release ferrules when I'm using a one piece lock. Um, if you're using a cam style lock, a two piece lock, then the S hooks work a little better. Um, and the S hooks are reusable. Um, you know, if you catch a coyote or a fox, you, you know, you remake the snare and use the S hook over. I mean, once a deer hits it and blows it apart, I, I wouldn't try to reuse it. There's the only disadvantage of these. It's a one-time use. Once the snare is used once, that you know you're cutting the snare away and you're only using it one time. So, but um, the way I hook these on, I just slip them through the number nine swivel. Pull them around and just flip back over. This one's been used a few times. It's getting a little boogered up, but, but now you got all this, you know, you swivel here. Once, once we make a catch, I'll cut this, um, pull this off, and my snares are made up. I'll hook another one right back on. These go home and get another snare made to them. Um, 